What's up guys, Jordan here, and today Apple released iOS 4.3 to the public. Now there's quite a few uh, big features in this update, but uh, one of the really big ones is the ability to actually set up home sharing with your iOS device. So you can stream content that's on your computer to your um, iPod or iPhone or iPad um, without, without actually syncing and taking up memory on your device. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to set that up today. Um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go and check the which version of iTunes you have. So how you do this is you go to iTunes and then you go to check for updates. And you need to have iTunes version 10.2.1 because I actually tried out home sharing because I got the developer build of iOS 4.3 and tried it out with iTunes 10.2 and it didn't work. So you need to have 10.2.1 for this to work. And that is the latest version. So um, just update it if you don't already have it. But if you already have the latest version, then you're all good to go. Um, and then just hit OK. And then go back up to iTunes, then Preferences. Then go under the Sharings tab and make sure that Share My Library on My Local Network and then Share Entire Library. Make sure that's all selected. Then you have some options if you want to require a password and if you want uh, the play count to get updated. Um, I like that, but I don't really like the password. So uh, then we're all good there. And uh, then you need to go to Advanced and then Turn On Home Sharing. Now it'll bring up this page with your Apple ID and then the password. So you just type in your password. And then you hit uh, enter or create home share. And then home sharing is now on. So use the same account when turning on home sharing for your other computers and in this case uh, iOS devices. And uh, they will appear below shared in the iTunes window. Uh, for me, my iOS device didn't uh, appear down here, but it might for you, but I, it doesn't because you can't actually stream content from your iPod to your computer. It's just you're streaming content from your computer to your iPod. But um, you can just go ahead and hit done and then go about your business because we're all done setting up everything on the computer. Um, and just remember which Wi-Fi network you're on if there's multiple networks that you can join on because you have to be on the same one for home sharing to work. But um, now we're going to switch over to our iOS device and finish the setup. Now to set up home sharing on your iOS device, it's really, really simple. All you got to do is go into settings, then go down to music, and then down the bottom you'll see a section called home sharing. Now um, you can just go ahead and type in your password. Once you've typed in your password, go ahead and hit done and then home sharing is all set up. So I'm gonna first uh, show you home sharing in videos. Um, first you'll notice up here at the top um, a little bar that says shared. Um, it lets you select between uh, my iPod Touch, so the library that's actually on the device, or then uh, George's library, which is the library I'm on the Mac. Um, first I'm just gonna show you down here at the bottom, I don't have any podcasts at all. Then once you turn on home sharing, it's loading over there. Voila. A lot more content and all these different podcasts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you one just to show you how fast um, this really is. Um, it acts just like... It acts just like the content is actually on the device. Um, some people have talked about that it's been kind of laggy. I haven't found that at all. I found it's really quick and really responsive and just like the content, like I said, is on the uh, iPod itself. Now I'm going to go over to music and show you how to set up uh, your shared library and music. It's really simple as well. Just go over to the more tab and then shared and then you just select uh, the library on your Mac. So um, once you select it on videos or music, it'll be uh, set for that library for your whole device. But um, yeah, definitely a really, really cool feature. Definitely update um, your 
iTunes and iPod or iPad or iPhone to get this feature. Definitely a feature you'll enjoy. I use it a lot for uh, podcasts because it's great because you don't have to download all that content to your um, portable device. You can just download it to your uh, computer and then watch it whenever, wherever, uh, if you're in your Wi-Fi area. But anyways, uh, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to see more great tutorials, subscribe and check out my channel. Um, likes and comments are greatly appreciated. Also, check me out on Twitter and Facebook, and I hope to see you in my next video real, real soon. Thanks for watching.